you ready? Yep. Stand by. So this video is for my friend Cody Kemper. So Cody tagged me in a post where he was shooting a 25-yard target. Thank you for the tag, Cody. Appreciate that. And he was mentioning in his post that his first shot would go high right in a series of shots. So high right is my left. So if you guys are looking at me, this is where the first shot ended up over here. So the first thing I thought of was that the gun position is not in the hand correctly. And what do I mean by that? So when I talk about recoil control and firing hand position with the firearm, if you took, if you felt your forearm bone here, this is called the ulna if I remember correctly, I'm not a medical guy, but if you put your palm back, trace the bone up into your palm, it ends up a little bit into your, in from your wrist crease. So this spot is where I want the back strap of the gun to sit. And now when I have it like this and I apply pressure from the fingers straight back into the palm, the gun is fully, fully seated here. It's fully supported. Okay. So when I press the trigger here, right, you can see that the gun doesn't move. So what's happening to Cody is that as it, because it's not in the right place in the hand, the gun is moving as a result of the trigger weight being taken up. So if he's got a five or a six pound trigger or a four pound trigger, when he goes to press that trigger, it counters that resistance. The gun shifts to pick up any slack in his grip. So watch, I'll demonstrate that right here. So if I go from this where I'm very straight, right, the gun isn't moving. Double action trigger is about six and a half, seven pounds. And I go to a shifted grip. So I'm going to shift it over a little bit like this, right? Watch this, watch the gun, same trigger press. It goes up and to the right because there's no support in the gun. So when you see that happening, shift your hand, put the gun right on this bone here. And now you're going to see the gun doesn't move. And I can press this trigger pretty much as hard as I want to, and it's not going to move on me. That's a great tip to try. That's a big, big point in a lot of lessons. A lot of people get this and it really, really improves their shooting. So give that a try. See what you think.